you are a smaller group, it's going to be easier. Yeah. UX design is basically okay. one of the aspects of digital design. I didn't plan to be a UX designer because the job title didn't exist 10 years ago, so I couldn't plan for it. I wanted to be an IT specialist and I imagine the path will be pretty straightforward. I just need to go to university, study and go and so on. But actually the real uh, story was a bit different and I'm actually grateful for it because all those challenges I had on my way, they helped me uh, refine who is it that uh, I am, what is it that I'm good at, what is it that I should do and what is it that I love. Now the use day app, that's how uh, our app looks like, is all about helping people pay their bills. So currently most of the people in the country pay their bills to direct debit. And direct debit is very old and rigid technology. Actually, it's over 50 years old, so half a century, and it didn't change much to use that. Uh, in the future, using will be able to detect when your salary comes in and automatically pay all the bills for you, so you don't have to worry, you don't have to think about it, it will be all done, it's hassle-free. So I started working for Use Day in 2017, so it's nearly two years now. I was the very first designer. So I had to design the full process for the next three years. Research, basically researching what are we doing and why, that's a very key phase, because whatever you miss here, you will miss everywhere later. So you need to make sure you do proper research. Then based on the data and findings, we can produce insights so that uh, we know who's gonna use the app and we know how to design it for them. Then we start drafting the concept um, and testing it. And once we prove the concept works, we move on to design stage. So we went into the street and we asked people uh, how do they pay their bills, who they are and what are their struggles, so that we design the app that is exactly for them. You don't want to come out with a problem and build an app in isolation from the real world. You want to make sure you build something that people are actually going to use. So you need to work closely with your prospective users. We also research the market, checking who are the competitors and whether we have any chances. But data is not enough. You need to produce some insights. In this case, we grouped our users, prospective users, into different uh, user types. So these are three different personas. People who don't exist, we just created. They are fictional characters representing different user types. Because we can't design for everyone individually. So we group them based on similarities. So this is Jack. He's a student. He will be using our app to pay his monthly bills. This is Sharon, single mom. She will be paying the bills as well. So very different type of people, uh, but we need to make sure we design for them, not for ourselves, right? Because I'm not the user, I'm a designer, and I need to design for them, and they're different people than me, they know less about technology than me, so the interface has to be more straightforward. Um, in the company we have weekly design reviews, and I don't want you to think that design is purely visual. There's lots of work to be done before actually design starts looking nice. One thing is designing wireframes. So what's the order of elements on the website? What our users would find useful to see first? That's another test. This is me running the test. Uh, this is a test participant. He has a mobile app uh, connected to the screen. So actually on this huge screen, I see exactly what he has on his screen. And I give him a task. Okay, pay British gas bill on that Update. How do you do it? And I observe how they go through the flow I designed and whether they struggle with anything or not. If they struggle with something, then that means we have to improve. And they say it's enough to test an app or a project with five people. Five people should be able to identify 90% of usability issues in the app. And once we prove the concept works, no we design the interface, we added some colors, no uh, but the main wrong design is form follows function. So we design the app, but we also need to design uh, how this app uh, should be perceived outside, and that's not the last stage. The last stage is to measure what we've done. So this is a heat map of our website showing how people click on the map, on the page. So this is a summary, so that means here lots of people click many, many times. And we're thinking like, why? This is not even a link. Why do they click here? And then we thought, oh, right, they want to find out more about security of the app, and we don't provide enough data. That's why they try to click and find out more. So Basing on this measurement, we no, could reveal that actually we should put more content in maybe some diagrams. That's our Tuesday team. That's what we more or less do. Obviously, there is much more we do, but I uh, hope I briefly covered all the aspects. Now, do you have any questions?
these cards get in if you, you lock them. Okay. Yes. Why might it be you don't Sorry? get it? Sorry? How much 